Well, we're on to vlog five now. Just realised that going down the street, this tree on the left here is covering half the road, so I better chop those branches back a bit. Let's clear that space straight through there now. Working on the back garden now, but the hedge trimmer's battery's flattened out. Well, Margaret's gone back now, and it's first, first morning up afterwards, had <laughs> a good sleep, and uh, the sun is out, and it looks like we're going to get better weather for a while. And it's lovely out here in the pottager again, I just have to come and photograph it one more time, my cat that I'm making in Topiri. Lights coming through the puppies here, absolutely gorgeous. Fish and chips. Now it's my Kentucky style fried chicken now, at least my version of it anyway. Looks good. Yeah, things are looking good. And there we go, and that's done. Save some cold for later and we'll have some. And here now of course. Pour moi Ah, 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 
prendre. Oh, moi, je vais prendre un millefeuille. Une paire de millefeuilles oui, oui. storm clouds today. This new settee for 90 euros plus 15 delivery. It can't be bad, and they take the old one away. Meows. In the window of the house here. <laughs> and another one here. This is full of cats. Meow. Meow. This would be a good place to bring a student to paint. I think we can just sit here and paint the bridge. Let's go down and see what it's like underneath. Lynn, in her beautiful little accidental um, coquelicot, her garden, of these lovely little poppies here, which on camera will look fantastic because you haven't seen all the external part. But she's invited us very kindly for dinner. I'm just about to be thrown out. <laughs> this is very nice. It's a trivia. We have the entree, the salmon, and du pain, and et le madame de la maison. <laughs> the chef de cuisine. 
It's good. Good, good. Oui, c'est joli. Miracle. Je perds au moins 100, 100 kg de cerises que personne ne peut me, 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 me récupérer parce qu'elles sont beaucoup trop hautes. Et Usual rose. Et lui, il s'est vieux comme tout ce ah, Il a disparu. Pour... Ce qui était frappant, on l'a fait. C'est Lynn's new little kitten. Two kitty cats. What's this? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Chinka! Chinka! Yes! Yes! A little wild cat had just been taken on. Aren't you? What's all this? Hey, what's all this? Yes. It's new. Wild. Very oh. wild, yes. Scratch Unfortunately, me. this tree has come down overnight. Broken my fence and fallen into my garden. It's not my tree, it's my neighbour. Hopefully, I've mentioned it to him and he will remove it. Otherwise, I've got the work to do. And I will keep the wood for myself, of course, if that happens. It blocks right through through here at the moment. Well, I had a couple of old pieces of knife left in the workshop, so I thought I'd put them together, put a, an oak handle on, and uh, as the famous saying goes, it cuts, so it's okay. <laughs> it's quite funny to just oil a handle now. Well, the new settee has arrived, and... Uh, I think it'll be alright. I think it's comfortable. It's certainly easy to get out of and it doesn't look too bad here, although matching cushions will be a lot better. to ourselves and the water's right. Oh, Pew's running away there, look. That's nice. Two of them there this morning. Like that. Big just moved out there. The fisherman. Well, the first fish of the day, a little bream. We should get next. The water's very high. The old golden oreo in the background there. And another little bream comes out, only a small one. I didn't even bother netting it straight up. It's good. Nice little fish. Let him back in again. And another little bream. Nice fish. And last a little bream. Not much happening today. A lot of water. There we go, put him straight back in. Not many fish today, we're getting a few small bream out now. We're just trying to float now and yes, a little bream at the edge here. We're getting a lot of little bream now on the float rod. Another small bream on.
There we go, another nice one. Drop him back in. There's one. Just landing it at the moment, as you can see. Don't know what it is, probably a sander. And we are still fishing for bream. Completely mangled. Here we go again. Just in that same spot to shoulder a small bream. You can just drop them down at our feet, let them go. Picking up some quite nice little bream on the light rod now. As you see here, it's a nice little fish look. No, same bream on court. When we get a small one, it's good to go and put it in the live bait box. Just land across here and 
Nothing has happened on the live bait today, but one chap in the boat has had a sander out. But we'll just go across here and drop him amongst the other small roach we've caught in there to keep him happy and alive. Go back over there again. Go straight back into the little bream. Pulling them out one after the other while waiting for something bigger. And still they come out, must be about my 30th. Mainly bream, but some roach like this which are good to keep for bait. Well, he's finished and finished packing up, and so am I now. It's coming up to 11 o'clock, and about it. Not got any big ones, but certainly had a little bit of sport. I'll pack up now and come back another day, and uh, I've got plenty of worms left. The water's fairly high. It's been fun. It's fish about, and uh, it's certainly worth coming down here again and trying soon. Well, that's the fishing for this morning finished. We'll just go back up the hill down, up into Freshland, see if I can reserve a haircut, and then we'll see what the next day brings. Let's have another visit to the potage this morning. It's not bright sunlight, but we'll just see what poppies we have at the moment. All the different varieties of bread. And not just the poppies, but other flowers that are out at the moment too. And all the bumblebees are just thoroughly enjoying themselves at the moment. As these poppies blow merrily in the wind. And larger. Lovely variations of pinks and creams. It's a dull day today, so we're not going to get the light shining through them, but at least you'll get proper colour. and luscious deep red. And delicate pinks again, and whites almost. And then these wonderful big fluffy ones. <laughs> Aren't they amazing? And back in the distance over there, we have more. The lighter ones behind. And the roses next to them. And the marrows are coming out into flower. Black currants are all forming. Maize is gradually coming up now, going back into the garden. Lettuce are doing really well, we've eaten most of the old set and now the new ones are coming up. Onions doing well there with the new red lettuce behind. The broad beans forming flowers and starting to form pods at last. Lupins finishing, but a new lupin looking good for next year, this lovely cream one behind here, look. And the other lupins behind that. This time of year the honeysuckle is absolutely gorgeous and smells coming out from that across the garden 
and the meadows behind. The tree now has gone from here, we had a problem with. The tractor just lifted it up and took it away, which was excellent. These potatoes, hopefully something underneath them. Not much leaf on them this year, so I don't know how well they are. The peas forming now at last. And the carrots coming with other lines of seeds you see coming up in between now as we replace the old stock. The banana tree seems to be taking in its new place. The new, with the old lavender and new lavender plants also just starting to come into flower now. So soon they'll be smelling beautiful as well. You touch them now, it's fabulous. And at the front of the house, the lilies are just coming out. Back the sage is flowering. And the hostas have done really well, they've come up again. Back there, you can see a strawberry amongst them. And uh, the beans coming up there, the French beans. The grapevine now continuing up the wall and starting to spread and train as I want it to. And this strange looking version of a hollyhock here, not quite sure what it is, but it's got gorgeous deep purple flowers and I know it's, it seeds well. Marie kindly cleared this bit of the weeds away from the irises and the fish ponds looking reasonable with the lilies just starting to come out now. So I've come today with a couple of friends who just visited me and Anne-Marie were going to the uh, Tertus Artis for dinner. Oh, ton tête est pas bon. Vous avez vu la crypte en bas Film on call. No, it's absolutely wonderful. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. We're closely at oui, Marie's. So it's a uh, good, good, good publicity. Bon appétit, oui, c'est un good appétit, je sais. Le monsieur le rive, je fais Oui Et le deuxième, oui, il est où Voilà, c'est bon. Et voilà. La canette. Vous êtes bourrifante. Alors, le poisson, c'est pour vous. Mais non, je suis pas c'est société de contrôle. Et pour moi, le canard, oui. Voilà. Donc, pour moi, c'est... Bon appétit. Merci. C'est charmant. C'est pas bon. Maintenant, oui, je recommande, c'est super, hein C'est très léger. Oui. Voilà. Qui veut partager avec moi <rire>